graphic display Iraqi in Revit and this time is with the view filter uh, view filter is a very powerful tool that so many users in Revit they use for um, for example highlight the the fire writing uh, walls uh, for one hour two hours there is many 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 use for the filters in Revit and if we use it wisely we can benefit uh, for uh, from this tool let's see how it's work uh, before we uh, we go deeper in in this uh, episode. We just uh, we just uh, explain some uh, some confusing uh, some conf some uh, confusing idea about the view filter. If, for example, we have view depth line style and phasing graphic override and visibility graphic host layer and pro visibility graphic projection and cut line and object style in the project it's already uh, applied and for some specific view we use the view filter it will override all this if they are existing in in uh, in the applied view that's mean we need to use it like i said before we need to use it wisely let's see how it's work i will go here in this first floor and you uh, remember from the last episode that it was uh, up, uh, we was uh, working on uh, line style for the view depth and we have uh, we have seen that uh, it's uh, apply for the beyond line style okay if you want to go uh, to know more go to the episode the visibility graphic hierarchy uh, line style view depth uh, now for the view filter if we want to apply the view filter for example we uh, we apply a filter in a view in a specific view like this uh, floor plan first floor we go to view here and in graphic tab here we will find the filter if we click on filter like that you see in a filter there is for uh, for some uh, for the previous version like 2018 2019 there is a slight change between the version but the rules they are the same for this column but we let's see how it's work for example this column filter is uh, uh, here we uh, it's allow us to create a new filter or to use a filter that are already exist or rename them or uh, delete them. You see, we have here this button can help us. Let's create a filter, for example, for this wall. We want that wall um, to be, uh, we want to apply it for all the walls. After that, we will take example of fire writing, how to distinct distinguish between one hour or two hour fire writing let's say that uh, we create a new filter here and i apply it uh, i name it wall for example wall and then in this column here in this column here category we need to choose we apply this filter for which cat category for example i just hide this disciplines I let only architecture because we choose a wall. If I go here for just tap W and go to the wall, then we have here the rules to apply. That mean we let that uh, for uh, we let that uh, just like that without having without applying any rules. Just click apply and we have now created our filter if we want to apply it we go to vv or vg from by the um, keyboard and i go here you see here i have model category i have annotation category analytical model category imported category and here i have a filter okay i will go to add and i go to add my filter wall then when we have the wall here we will apply like uh, we will apply the the uh, we will apply the graphic override for example for uh, project surface for the wall they are uh, they appear in uh, by override to to projection surface we will apply line here just change your color for example uh, 
I put it to red. And for the cat, by for example, for the uh, for the ones the walls they will be uh, graphically appear by lines. We choose here lines, and I will put it in a pink. And okay. See what's happened now. We have all our wall now for the uh, cut uh, for the cut column appear on pink and the other wall for a projection line it's supposed to appear by uh, it's supposed to appear by uh, by surf, uh, by uh, filter then you see here that it's uh, override but just like uh, if we check we uh, it's appear like uh, orange here if we come back like uh, vv and uh, just uh, go to our filter here and override here for projection line i will just put it in blue and it will give you a clear idea that's all the uh, the walls that they are uh, in a projection they are not cut by the uh, the cut line for the view range they are uh, they they appear in blue and uh, the walls they are cut by the view range they will appear in a pink that's mean our filter uh, work here but let's see if we we want to add the rules to the filter how we will do that we will do that by going to the filter here and going to the wall and make an edit here in the roll column or i put cancel here and i can go to the vv for example i go to the filter i select this wall here and i click on edit here and it bring us in the filter it's the same way like here the rules for example we said that for example this exterior wall we will uh, we will um, we will uh, distinguish them by the criteria of fire writing uh, hours and interior by also the fire writing hours if i go just to verify here just to let you know that we have selected the category wall our filter uh, its name wall we can rename it we put it like uh, fire writing uh, fire writing walls for example like that you can fire writing walls and then we go to the criteria if we go to the criteria here this category it's the wall and if we go here we will see that mean we can distinguish uh, the uh, the wall by all the uh, the parameters that are assigned to the walls for example our example we said okay we will go for the fire writing for example here and the walls that is for fire rating for example uh, two hour will appear in a color and for one hour appear in another color here i click here for example uh, equal and we see here it will give us if the already the parameter uh, fill in we can find the criteria uh, we can find the criteria already rivet uh, 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 select the one hour to hour because it's already assigned to the parameter equal to one hour i will apply i just uh, make a small change here i will rename it i said wall for two hour fire rating two hour okay now i create this this one now i will just create another one and i name it fire rating underscore wall two hour uh, one hour sorry one hour and i put okay and here for example i just uh, select architecture and go to the wall and then i i go to the criteria here fire rating equal to one hour apply okay now i can make okay after that i come back to assign or i can just can go back here and switch to one hour here and then for we just for the project line we will just uh, clear override and just 
for the cut line here, we will keep it like that. And for the pattern, we will put all, sorry, we said we can, we, uh, we will, uh, we will put it in, uh, here we will put it in uh, the pattern, we will put it like red. Okay. In the pattern, we will put it fill here. I just like the line here, we will put it also red. Okay, this is the criteria for two hour. And for criteria for one hour, I will put it like green. Okay, we put it green. I like green. And okay, we can put a light style, or we can put line color and also line white for that but it's just like uh, your choice and depending on how you want that to uh, to appear it's okay and now i put okay and voila dog here you see all the walls that appear all the walls that it's two hour appear in red and all the walls that appear in uh, uh, that it's fire rating for our it appear in green but we can here for example if we selected uh, here the wall and change the parameter or the criteria for here it will change uh, if we put it to our it will change the color this is how it work uh, the filter i hope it's helpful